today is my last full day in Hobart, my last day in Tasmania. And we're changing hotels because when I was making my booking, this room wasn't available for three nights, so I booked it in for two, and I booked a third night in another hotel. Hello, is it okay if I send a file over to get printed? Okay, so I have one full bag of things we're going to send home. I packed so well before coming and I don't know how I did it. My things don't fit the same anymore. But past me thought I was going to go shopping. So I did pack some post satchels and I'm going to post back my dirty laundry today. <laughs> I did some work, I looked up some maps for today and a few minutes down the road from this park is the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery. Since there's some time before check-in, I thought I'd pop in and have a little look. I changed hotels this morning because the last one wasn't available for the three nights. 
but I also decided to book two hotels because I thought that I would be hedging my bets since both hotels had aspects that I was really curious about. Like how this hotel is a dessert brand really. So they do a thing where they give out little treats every day. Except one con that I had written for my last hotel, which I should have written for this one as well, is that I might not get any sunlight. I mean, not the best view, but... I'm going to finish off the game plan that I never got to finish yesterday, which is to go to GASP, it stands for Glenorchy Art and Sculpture Park. Hopefully the clouds clear up a bit, but at least it's not raining like yesterday. So that'll be exciting. And then we walk for an hour to get to Mona. I saw online that some websites have called it a trail. So hopefully it's a nice trail and that will be my little Hobart bushwalk. And there's a James Terrell work that I saw yesterday, but today the weather is a lot better. Then after that, we'll catch a bus back here, go to sleep. But um, it is 3.30 now. I'm going to quickly clear some space on my phone and go down to chocolate hour. Very exciting. Let's go. I got a meringue and strawberry treat. Change them to long pants. This space used to be a construction site and after it was made redundant, this pavilion was built as a design response to activate the space in a way that also addresses the challenges of having high winds, salty air and multiple layers of leftover debris. read that they wanted this space to be comparable but also complementary to Mona, which is down the road and where we are going next. The walk to Mona takes about 55 minutes and the show starts in about 35, so I'm gonna speed walk and try and get there as fast as I can. Google Maps. 
Yes, this is what it says. Back on track. Maybe it's because Tasmania looks so small on the map, but this is the part where I realize that this small island is not as small and walkable as I assumed it was. Oh my gosh, I see it. Okay, so I'm slightly worried because the work is meant to be seen at sunrise or sunset. And so the sun is setting now and I still have like quite a bit to walk. I really don't want to show up sweaty if there's going to be other people there. So I'm just speed walking as fast as I can. I am like right around the bend. says there's a way so let's go okay good risk as i was leaving i missed the bus by like one minute i saw it drive away and so I decided to walk a few stops. 